Okay, moving on to erosional features. So the features that I just talked about, the landscape, coastal landscape features, uh, were built by uh, deposition of sediment. Uh, but waves uh, have energy, well, moving water has energy, and it also erodes. We saw that when we looked at the uh, headlands in the first slide. Uh, so here is a headland that's being eroded and uh, underneath it, uh, we see a hole that has been opened, and that's a, a sea arch. This is called a sea arch. Uh, here's a picture of one uh, where, in this case, uh, it, the whole headland has been disconnected from the uh, from the mainland. Okay, and when that happens, we get what's called a sea stack. So. The erosion is taking place, breaking up the headland. Uh, first, uh, we get a sea arch. Actually, first we get a sea cave, then we have get an arch, and eventually uh, we get a sea stack. So here is another example of that. Now I want to take you to a few places, show you some uh, additional examples of these features, mostly in California, but uh, also on the East Coast. Uh, the first one that I want to show you is this Estero de Limantour. This is in Point Reyes, uh, National Seashore, just north of San Francisco. And let me zoom in so we can see that a little better. And uh, what we have here, okay, there we go. We have a uh, sand spit. Okay. So uh, just by looking at the shape of the uh, sand, sand spit and see where it's open here, uh, we, can, we know uh, where the longshore current is coming from. So basically, uh, we'll zoom out just a little bit. So basic, basically, the, uh, sand, uh, the longshore current is flowing this way. And when it came to this open area where, where the bays are, it began depositing its sediment. And over time, this built up. Um, this uh, spit of sand built up and uh, came all the way across here. Next one I want to show you uh, what happens when a sand spit um, pretty much crosses all the way across uh, and a lagoon is formed. So here is Bolina, so just south of where we were and again we see sand spit here, and we know that the longshore current has to be coming from this direction and then deposit in the sediment and create in this sand spit. Uh, technically, uh, this is not a bay mouth bar because it's not completely closed. It hasn't quite reached the other side, so it's still a sand spit, but pretty soon uh, it may, you know, unless it's being kept open by people, it would naturally. Uh, close and uh, behind it we get a lagoon. I wanted to uh, show you some picture or a picture of what that lagoon looks like from above. So here is the lagoon and here is the sand spit on its way to becoming a baymouth bar. Okay, the next one I want to show you. So keep going south. Uh, the next one is actually a, an erosional feature close to my hometown in Santa Cruz. Uh, so this is uh, National Bridges State Beach. And uh, what we have there, let me show you, is a sea arch. Okay, it's called National Bridges because it had more than one of these. See, they had headlands. Uh, see, the headland here has been eroded away. And we we're left with a sea arch. It used to have three, and now it, it only has one left. And uh, that will eventually collapse, become a sea stack, and eventually it will completely erode away. So, moving on to uh, more of rock. Further south, so this is just, you know, between, you know, it's north of Santa Barbara and. Uh, so more southern central, I guess, California. And here we have this feature, a tumbolo, right? We have the mortar rock, which is a big uh, you know, piece of rock, but it's connected to the mainland by a bridge. So let me show you a picture of what that looks like from above. So here we see the town of Morro Bay, 
and the uh, basically uh, sand spit or land bridge that's connecting it and creating a tumble and the last place that I want to take you is to a another depositional feature but this one is a barrier island and barrier islands do not occur on the west coast because in order to have those you need to have a pretty shallow um, pretty shallow ocean next to the coast and uh, because of the proximity of plates uh, we don't really have that here on the west coast because our coast is pretty it's very tectonically active so let me uh, zoom out here so you can see this is the uh, Padre Island which is the biggest barrier island in the state of Texas and uh, as I keep zooming out you see it more coming to the picture and you see it's pretty long uh, very long and parallel to the coast and uh, it extends uh, quite a quite a ways uh, along the uh, east coast or southeastern coast of Texas and here is a picture uh, you can see it's just sand that has been deposited over time and there's some vegetation growing uh, they do serve a purpose they help protect uh, the coastline against storms and hurricanes so it, it is important to preserve them so that's it uh, Erosion and deposition are two important processes that help create our uh, coastal features and they work, um, they are always at work.